Hello, my friends. It is time for the Morning Mindset once again. I hope you're ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God's Word. If you're new with us today, welcome to the Morning Mindset family. It's our opportunity to be ready for this day so that we can honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're going to be jumping into the book of John, chapter 11. So if you have a copy of the scriptures handy, pull it out. Check me to make sure I'm telling you the truth. Don't ever take my word for granted. And we're going to dive right in in just a moment. But first, I want to say a thank you to our daily sponsors, Rodney and Sherry Jackson from Texas. They are supporting the Morning Mindset for this episode because they want to spread God's word and ways to as many others as possible. Thank you, Rodney and Sherry. If you would like to be a daily sponsor like Rodney and Sherry did, you can find out more about how to do that by going to morningmindsetmedia.com slash daily sponsor. Okay, let's dive into John chapter 11, verses 28 through 36. Now to set up the storyline for you, Jesus' friend, Lazarus, has just passed away. And Jesus has just now come on the scene. Lazarus has been dead four days, and his sisters, Martha and Mary, are there grieving. Jesus just had a conversation with Martha, and now in verse 28, it picks up Mary's part of the story. When Martha had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying in private, the teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary rise quickly and go out. They followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to weep there. Now when Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man also have kept this man from dying? Now, this is a very touching scene. It's one that has confused me, honestly, for a lot of years because I didn't understand why Jesus was weeping. I mean, Jesus knew he was going to come and raise Lazarus from the dead. We know that from a previous conversation that he had with his own disciples. Jesus just told Martha, I'm the resurrection and the life. I'm here. Lazarus is going to live again. So he wasn't weeping because he was sad over the loss of Lazarus. He knew Lazarus was going to be back in just a few minutes. So what was he weeping about? This passage doesn't tell us directly what Jesus was weeping about, but it does give us a little peek into his heart when it says, when he saw Mary weeping and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, then he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. And it's after this, he asks where the tomb is. And when he goes there, then he weeps. Friends, I think that Jesus weeps in this passage because his great heart is so empathetic toward ours. He grieves with us in our grieving. He suffers with us in our suffering. He empathizes and sympathizes with us in every way. And his heart is broken that ours are broken. Oh, how does it feel to you, friends? To know that the King of kings and Lord of lords hurts because you hurt. And it seems to me that his grief is additionally over the brokenness of this world. He's sad that we go through what we go through and that sin has caused such corruption and such grief to be a reality. And yet he knows, just like he knows he's about to raise Lazarus, that none of that is outside his control. He weeps with us on the one hand, but he confidently is going to do something about our weeping on the other. And those of us who have placed our faith in Jesus, we understand what he's done. He has given his life so that we can have new life, eternal life, life forever with him, 
free of the confines of this sinful world. Lord God, give us eyes to see and minds to conceive the great compassion and sympathy you have for us. Just as it feels good when others console us when we're sad, we can understand Jesus consoles us when we're sad. Jesus is with us in our sorrow and in our suffering. And we ask you, Lord, to enrich us by that knowledge, to cause it to go deep into our souls and give us the comfort we need in those times when comfort is sorely needed. And Jesus, most of all, glorify yourself in our suffering and in our pain through the comfort that you give us. And don't forget that Morning Mindset Media also provides other podcasts, including a Christian parenting podcast, a Christian marriage podcast, and soon a Christian history podcast. You can find out more at morningmindsetmedia.com.